But there's something about Mary that they don't know. Mary, there's just something about Mary. Well, his friends say, I don't know. I don't know either. I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, 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 was she in George Washington's mother? I have no idea. Mary Washington was the mother of George Washington. George Washington's wife. Uh, I believe she was the mother of the first president, uh, George Washington. Mm -hmm. I do not know. Mary Washington was the mother of the founding president of our country, George Washington. No idea. No idea. <laughs> she was George Washington's mother. here to Fredericksburg. I'm not quite sure what she's done locally, but I think her significance is mainly due to her, uh, the fact that she gave birth to the father of our country. Mm -hmm. I do not know. Important thing is she raised George to be an honest boy who became our first president. Yeah. And we all know how important mothers are in the formation of their successful son. Because she was his mother. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> no idea. That's a good question. But there's something about Mary that they don't know. Mary Ball Washington was born in Lancaster County near Epping Forest in 1708. Little is known about her childhood, even her birth date remains under question. However, we do know that her father died when Mary was around the age of three and left her with three slaves, 15 cattle, and 400 acres of land near the Rappahannock River in Stafford County. In 1720, when Mary was around 12 years of age, her mother passed away. Mary Ball's mother appointed Colonel Eskridge to be her guide and mentor as she grew up. When Mary's brother passed away in 1721, she would inherit another 600 acres in Stafford County. Later, Colonel Eskridge would introduce Mary Ball to Augustine Washington because her lands lie adjacent to the holdings that he had with the Principio Mines in Stafford. Mary and Augustine were married in 1731. The newlywed pair moved to Polk's Creek, located in Westmoreland County. It would be there where Mary gave birth to all her surviving children, including George, who was named after Colonel Eskridge. In 1738, Augustine bought land from a man named Strother, which was located directly on the Rappahannock. Today, it is known as Ferry Farm. Augustine bought this land so that he could live closer to his holdings with the Principio Mines. He also wished for his sons to be taught under the tutelage of Reverend James Marie. However, in 1743, Augustine passed away and the management of the farm fell to Mary. At this time, George was 11, and until George came of age, Mary would manage his estates. However, if she remarried, then the management would fall into the hands of her new husband. This might have been the main reason why she chose to remain a widow and never remarry, which was not the norm for her time. Eventually, George would leave the home and join the military. This caused Mary Ball a lot of stress, and she was worried for her son's life. Because of this, modern historians see Mary as a nagging and needy woman, always bothering George and asking him for useless things. Both Mary and George had very forceful and independent personalities. Without her strong character, Mary would not have been able to raise her children and manage the farm by herself. Eventually, George bought Mary a house on Charles Street in Fredericksburg. Since she was aging, George wanted her to be closer to her sister and Mary's daughter, Betty Lewis, who lived at the Kenmore Plantation. At first, Mary was reluctant, however, she soon adopted a similar lifestyle to the one she had at Ferry Farm. It was a simple, not extravagant lifestyle, one more focused on comfort than social appearance. In August of 1789, Mary Ball passed away after a long battle with cancer. After her death, Congress mourned the loss of George's mother by wearing black armbands. George himself quoted, All that I am, I owe to my mother. Remnants of Mary Ball Washington's legacy can be found in many places throughout Fredericksburg, Virginia and the Northern Neck. 
In historic downtown Fredericksburg, these places include the Mary Washington House, located on Charles Street, and the Mary Washington Memorial, erected in the 1890s and located off of Washington Ave. The Mary Washington Hospital was founded in 1899 and named to honor the women who raised money to erect the monument. Originally located on the corner of Sophia and Fauquier Street, the hospital has since expanded and moved to its current location off of Route 1. Finally, our very own school was named Mary Washington College in 1938, once again to honor the woman whose strong will helped raise the man who would become the first president of our country. But there's something about Mary that they don't know. Mary, there's just something about Mary. But there's something about Mary that they don't know. Mary. There's just something about Mary